Hi, my name's Chris and welcome to my channel. Have you ever wondered how to get your Kindle books from here onto your Remarkable 2 on here? Now there's something called digital rights management which is a pain in some respects because you own the book, if it's on your Kindle, you want to just get it on your Remarkable 2. It's a mechanism that prevents you from copying it to anywhere else and it's linked to your Kindle account. What I'm going to show you today is how to DDRM that book and copy it onto your Remarkable 2 so you can read that lovely book that you've purchased and get on with just reading, marking it up, writing notes as the Remarkable 2 is designed for. Don't forget to leave in the comments below what you use your Kindle for, whether you use it for reading, EPUBs or PDFs or just journaling and I'll get back to you in the comment. If you like this video please hit that like button but more importantly if you want to know more about the Remarkable 2 and learn to I think better in this digital age hit that subscribe button for more content that will come shortly. Back to the tutorial today. But before we start this tutorial I will be leaving the links in the description below so that you can access everything that I will be showing you. The system that I'm using this is my Surface laptop and it's got Windows 10 on it. I'm going to show you exactly all the steps that you need to do to be able to DDRM the Amazon book that you've bought and ultimately upload it to your Remarkable. I've just created a temp folder, T-E-M-P, and I will be downloading all the, the installation software as well as the plugin to this directory and everything else will go here so it's just my base folder. What we're going to do is we're going to fire up a, a Chrome browser and I want you to type in Calibre, C-A-L-I-B-R-E. Okay, download Calibre. Okay, agree. And because I've got a Windows 64-bit computer, I am going to select this download. You can obviously download the Mac OS if you like and the instructions will be exactly the same. So choose the one you want and click on the link. So once you've done that, I'm gonna open the folder and put it back into temp. So I've just moved that now to my temp folder. Next, if we go back to the Chrome browser, I just want to show you something about Calibre, what it's about. It's an ebook management system, as you can see, and it's completely free. And you can use it actually to transfer books to your Kindle directly. But for now, we need to go and download the, the DDRM, Digital Rights Management Plugin. So if you type in Calibre DDRM Plugin, return, you want to click on this first link, which is Apprentice Harper, who's the person who created the, the plugin. And then you want to click on this link here, which is the latest release that he's released to 7.2.1 so we're going to click on DDRM tools 7.2.1 zip and that will start downloading and again it's already done so I'm just going to move that so I've just moved it to the temp folder now we have two pieces of software one is the installate installer and the second one is the, the DDRM plugin which will be configured inside Calibre right now that we've got our installation files, I'm going to cut to the chase and what I will say to you is let's right click and extract the plugin quickly. So it will create a bunch of files. These are the files that were contained in the zip. Specifically, this is the important one that we will be installing in Calibre and customizing so that we can DDRM our Amazon file, our, our book essentially. So let's install Calibre. If you double click on the MSI, click accept, install, done. So click finish and it says launch Calibre because that will be, that's ticked as default. This is the software, the user interface that comes up when you open Calibre. So let's go and configure the plugin now that allows the books that you're going to import from Amazon into here and apply the DDRM plugin so that it can decrypt the rights management. 
had you not installed the DDRM plugin, this is what you'd see. If you click on the ellipsis on the right, the three vertical dots, click preferences, scroll down to the advanced plugins, and then load on the bottom right is a button that says load plugin from far. Go to your C temp directory or the directory where you've downloaded your, your files to and you want to select this file here, the plugin.zip, not the tools or the OBOT plugin, just a DDRM plugin.zip. So click on it and click open. And what happens is when you do that, it opens up the plugin in the file type. So now what we need to do is having read it, this is the person who created it and it supports other devices as well, Kobo and maybe pocket and need reader. So we now want to customize the plugin. Click customize plugin and then click in anticipation of your serial code whether you're using the plus symbol. button and this is where we're going to type it in. So here we have my Kindle and what we want to do now is go to settings which is the cog at the top Go to all settings and then you want to go to device options and then you want to go to device info and here as you can see is all the information about your Kindle and what you want to record is the second item down which is a serial number it's a 16 alphanumeric number serial number so you want to now type that into the DDRM manage e-ink Kindle serial number dialog box back at your computer so let's do that now so I'm going to type it in and then click OK you can click close, click OK and click apply at the bottom right. So we're now set to go. What we need to do is head off to our Amazon account and download the book or books that are DRM protected and suck them into this application. If we go back to our favourite, well my favourite browser, Chrome, We'll go to the Amazon account that you are signed up with and sign in. So now that you're signed in, what you want to do is go to the account lists, accounts and lists, go to your account, scroll down and you want to select content and devices and when you click that you'll get a list of the books that you have bought or downloaded even like I've got a few samples here so what you do is you click click on this uh, select it and click on the ellipsis and then information about the book will come up and what you want to do is click the download and transfer via USB option here okay and there will be the device that you want to access it for select a device from the drop-down list there for me it's going to be the Kindle one and once you do click the download that will download it to your local drive as in your your hard drive and there it is okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer as usual that book so if I open it in my downloads it's there it's an AZW3 file and I'm going to put it in my temp folder where everything hangs out for this demonstration. Okay, so now if we flick back to the application, the Calibre, you come to the, the home screen I suppose and if you go to the Add Books button and click on it, navigate to the directory where you just saved or transferred your book to the AZW3 book and I'm Minds and C Temp, getting things done, which is AZW3 and Amazon, the Amazon file, which is encrypted. 
So it's reading the metadata and adding to the library. So there it is there now. Now it's great. We can we can actually probably read it in here, but of course we want to put it onto the remarkable two. You need to convert it from the AZ W3 format into a file format that the Remarkable 2 understands. And we and I've told you this format is DRM'd, so it's useless on the Remarkable 2. So what you need to do, right click, convert books, convert individually for this uh, tutorial. And in here is a, a dialog window that tells you all about it, but what you want to do is you want to focus on this left hand side. The input format is AZ or W3. Output format, for now I'm going to use EPUB. EPUB is a format that y the Remarkable 2 recognises but allows the words to be reflowed on the screen. So I'm going to select OK and if you click on this arrow, this jobs thing, it will tell you what it's doing and the progress and how long it takes to get. Okay so if we fire up the Remarkable app, just to let you guys know in order to get to the DDRM file that you've just created. If you right click and open containing folder, we have the EPUB there. We're going to go and import. So, what you want to do is you want to go on to the import. So, once you're on, clicked on ebooks, you click on import, and you remember that when you opened your file path back in Calibre. Calibre, you would have got this location here. So if you copy this, click on the uh, that box there, the folder box, copy that and paste it in here and then click open. And so you want to be looking for the EPUB document. So let's double click that and there it goes getting the getting things done okay getting things done zero percent and there it is the icon has just refreshed so let's click on it and there we have it a DDRM version of the Kindle book that you have. Swipe. Great, isn't it? You can go. Yeah, that's a really good comment. Do, do, do. Really good. It's the real beauty of the Remarkable 2, where you can just upload your your book that you want to review and mark up and write notes and everything just works. I've just showed you how to transfer a DRM protected Amazon book straight to your Remarkable 2. So if you did like my video hit the like button but more importantly if you want to know more about how to use your Remarkable 2 and achieve better thinking in this digital age please smash that subscribe button for more content from me and if you have other time make sure to have a look at my how-to guides and the rest of the videos on my channel and I will see you again soon. Take care and be awesome.